what's going on chat this is next one up and i'm your boy user you already know what we're doing on this show we're kicking it some with some of the best man players content creators seeing what they do besides the video game what they do in their everyday life look this week this week you already know who we got you already know who we got in the building let me grab the mic you know who we got in the building we got pavin laka the club champion that's right the club champion the hundred grand man himself he's like number six or seven on the list listen he lost in the finals to jay wall this year the guy's doing major things if you want to know how to take your game to a next level listen man you in the right spot you are in the right spot chat let's go man we, we we're looking for someone around the younger generation to take over and Pavin, that's what he's trying to do that's why he's building his brand the youtuber if you haven't checked him out subscribe he's putting together great content he's getting on the las vegas raiders radio he's doing a whole bunch of things to try to make his brand grow outside of just playing the game and that's what a lot of these madden competitors and players they kind of need to look at Pavin and see okay how we still got to be able to compete in tournaments to win because guess what if you ain't winning if you just ain't winning, ain't getting the job done, it's gonna be so long that they say, you know, I'm looking for a winner. But Pavin is doing all that, still competing, putting out content and grinding, and that's why you gotta salute him. Pavin, what's good, man? Nothing much, user. What about yourself? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm glad you're on this show, man. You know, the reason why I'm so excited, pause for you to be here, because I look up to you in the community, man. You are really out here making strides, building a brand. Is my guy Sahil in the building? Is he there? Yes, sir. Sahil in the know. back. What's up? You know He's what I'm saying? Chat, in the look. Back. Yes, y'all see Pav and he giving you the blueprint. You got to build a team and be great. Sahil's helping him out on the back end the whole night. Man, I'm glad I got both of y'all in the building. Pav and you got man bold, man. How you feel about that coming up? Uh, it's completely different from years prior, but you know me, I'm always gonna, you know, I like the sweat. A lot of people don't like the sweat. I like the sweat. I'm gonna, you know, figure it out. It's a new thing, but new things can be fun. So, you know, hopefully I get my boys, Henry, Allen, they're in the LCQ. Let me, let me find out one time, you know, they're gonna fight. And, you know, you never know. We might match up all together. That'd be something else for sure. So, you know, just for now, uh, just got worry on the team and then make the dream come true. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Look, man, you know, um, you know, I will challenge you to head to head and all that and try to, you know, <laughs> put belts up and all that. But as you saw, as you can see, I got a butt naked crazy trophy behind me. Uh, I mean, trophy case behind me. I ain't got nothing to offer, man. You know, Jay Wall took the, took everything but the draws off my back last week. So right now, I don't want no smoke. We're going to suit up. We're going to play uh ko the yard something like that i really owe you from yard knocks because you robbed me you know i really owe you from yard knocks bobby let's you know not talk about that. that user let's not talk about that today bobby bobby you lost i don't know what you did to win but you lost you know that i came in there all of a sudden the director told me yeah we gotta have a meeting and i know you was the one this and that but the way the scores broke down Pavish the winner. What? What? Yeah, no. Uh, how'd you, I'm definitely how'd on your you do side it? That. I, man, I don't know. I don't know. I got blessed. Uh, sheesh. I don't know what to say about that. That was uh, <laughs> definitely fun, though, man. I, that's never, you know, I wish more people saw that, to say the least. We should, we should pull yeah, it up. Or yeah. Something. Yeah, we definitely should pull it up. Um, What's your tag on here? I need to go ahead and see you this yard knocks. I mean, give uh, me a second. I yard, need to boot so up, but uh, it's Pav. And then you just space 530. So give me one second. I'm gonna boot up real quick and then I'll be on there. Uh, all right. I heard you got a new dog, man. What you got? It's a German Shepherd Husky mix. What a dog like Three months old. It's in the Where's back the dog right now, man. It's in the backyard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need the... to see, do, chat. Do we need to see the dog? We need to see. Excuse me. We need to see what kind of animal, what kind of dog Pavin is guy. I mean, what kind of dog guy is he? We need to see him, right? Yeah, we need to see the dog. You want me to go get we him? To, My sisters are we need you know, to playing with him outside. Tell, tell your sister we saw. We're going. The dog need two minutes camera time. It's time. 
It's time. The dog right, need two minute camera User. time. Give me one second. I'll go get him. Full blooded what? What kind of dog you like, man? Right here, camera. This is my sister. It's her dog. Um, let's see. Hey. The camera is a little glitchy right now. But yeah, this is my sister. She brought him up for me. Because I don't know how to hold oh, him yet, but I will learn him. And he's, and he's being a little uh, camera shy uh, right now, as you can see, but yeah. Uh, and how old you say that dog? Well, that dog look full grown. That ain't no puppy. Yeah, he's four months, man. Three months, four months. He grows, he's going fast. It was a little tough to get him up. Hey, you holding that dog like it's a baby. That's a grown dog. Put me down. <laughs> she can't hear you right now, but what he said was that he's a grown dog. He's no baby. <laughs> yeah, that's you cool. Let him down I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. No problem. And what's your sister's name? Her name is Jana. She's uh, 11, turning 12 okay. soon. So yeah, she's a big gamer. Let me sit down. She's a big gamer. That's not and I'm definitely going to get her like a PC or something, man. She plays a lot of Valorant. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah. yeah. That's good. So if you had to suit up with her on the Valorant, who's better, you or her? Oh, for sure, her. She's been playing for like two, two months, three months, like... After a school session, she just hops on and you now I want to get her something official because she deserves it. That's cool. That's cool. You loaded in yet? Not yet. Give me one second and then I'll be good. Probably honestly like two, three minutes. I'm good. Okay. All right. So while we waiting on you to load in, look, bro, we got a giveaway. I already did my giveaway. I gave him the Revis. I want to know if okay. you gotta, you're going to give away a card. You can give away any card that's not a limited to somebody in the chat. The chat want to know what cards you're giving away. Julio, 100%. Best receiver in the game. Yeah. Julio? Julio? All yeah, right. Julio we got a Julio. We got a Julio coming up. Oh, no. Should we roll it right now, Shannon? I oh, don't know. Should we wait? Should we roll it? We go ahead and roll it. We go ahead and roll the Julio for popping. Ain't no way. <laughs> Yo! Mr. Krabs, dollar three twenty six cover six. You won the Julio. Psych, wrong again. You did not win, my brother, because you were not following. You spent all no that way. time capping and running your mouth, and you didn't even hit the follow button. My man's dollar. really just disappointed me on the big stage, on the main stage. <laughs> hey, dollar. Are you? Hey, dollar. You gotta hold this L. You know we going to re-roll, and we going to re-roll this one with pleasure. Let's go. Hey, my guy, Steve Cuds. Steve Cuds in the building. Congratulations, Steve Cuds. You just won that Julio. Compliments of Pavi and EA. Let let uh, <laughs> let uh my guy, Dollar, Dollar Cover 6, know how that Julio play, all right? Appreciate Send that. Send him a picture Listen, of Chad. you getting him, man. <laughs> that, that's just petty right there. Absolutely, man. Y'all got to make sure y'all following. Y'all know we don't play them games. Y'all know we don't play them games. That's the number one rule. Sports King, tell them that's the number one rule. You got to be following. You got to be following. Crazy. Had to re-roll. Sir, I'm good for whenever. Dollar. You can send the invite when I, at any time. Uh, are you good now? All right, let's see. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, How bad about that? Oh, it's all good. The problem is I always struggle sending the invite in yard. I be forgetting... Uh, which, I could do it if it's you need always, me. Yeah, go ahead and send it to me. Go ahead All and send right. it to me. It says uh, on the one great user tail. One great All user. Right. Yeah. I need the storyline on that, by the way. How did you come up with such a fantastic alias? Who, me? Yeah, definitely you. The one great user? I, I ain't even going to lie to you. Somebody told me that it came from one great user. The name came from Tron, the movie. And once I found out about it, I was like, oh, that's tough. But I'm be honest. I didn't I didn't know that until after. Uh, actually, I was I wanted my name to be the greatest or great something. Mm -hmm. And everything was taken. So I just kept going yeah. through the line. Kept going through the line. And then I said, you know what? I do have some of the best stick in the nation. And I said, great use. That's, that's right. I'm the greatest. And so before I knew it, I spoke greatness into existence, Bobby. And there it is. One of the stickiest men's alive. You can believe that or not. And I know Chow is in there. Chow on RG somewhere saying, hey, he's lying. User is just lying so much right now. But listen, I got sticks. Stop hating. Stop hating right now. You feel me?
So you nah, said you be. I, I know you be streaming. Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say I had to. I wish I was there um, in these uh, land tournaments, whatever in person. I needed to see if you were just screaming out one great user, one great user. <laughs> oh man, I was just tough. I was tough back then. And I'm tough now. Don't don't disrespect. Just because J Wall took all my trophies, don't don't disrespect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to pop Yo, J Wall uh, man for the one time, for the one time. I mean, to me. be honest, I'm have to get my get back. You gotta get your get back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he stole my trophies, but he stole a belt and a hundred grand from you, hundred and fifty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still not over that. Let's be real. I'm still not over that yet. We'll get over it though. I sent the invite. Let me know if you got it. I know. It. Send, send it again. I couldn't accept it. Let me back out of here. This is you this is me, definitely Eddie? a little tricky, honestly, to uh, get these invites and all that going. I haven't been on the yeah. yard in a minute. So your sister want to start streaming? You going to teach it? You and Sahil going to teach it the ins and outs of streaming? I don't know why it's not letting me. Except every time I accept, it's not going through. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna try to get her to start streaming eventually within the next couple of years. If you can too, you could try sending a user too, cause I, I, it's just not showing your name on here. And I tried doing the OG way to invite, where it's searching through the gamer tag, but that's not yeah. working either. So I'm gonna have to go all the way down to find your name. Let me try to do that. Okay, I'm, I'm, that I'm trying to send it right now and find your yeah. name on it too. Yeah, no, but that's the future, okay. man. A lot of, uh, you know, early young streamers, they get a lot of attention, man. Uh, one I can name is his name is Aiden in the Madden community. He's already doing good things, Absolutely. man. And if, if we could get that, could have got that, you know, head start too. Like even me, you, uh, obviously, mm -hmm. yeah, unfortunately for you, there was no Twitch at your time. But what's it called? If we could have got that head start. Hold the hell up now. Oh, hold the hell up now. I'm not right, capping, this is it. Come on. No, no, this is it. This is I let the first one slide. I let the first one slide. Uh, now you say? up here talking. You soon was like, yeah, back in your day, in your time, in the land. Like, he talking like I'm in the Stone Age chat. What's wrong with him? And he talking about no I... disrespect. One thing I know, the first thing when somebody says no disrespect, they mean complete disrespect, chat. All right, first of all, talking about in your time, all right? I had internet. I suited up with the, the Madden and the MCS. They just changed the format. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't get crazy. Like I'm just an old man out here. <laughs> he said in no, your day, in your it, time. Like, yeah, that kind of came out a little bad. So my fault, I'll take Yo. that. I can't invite you. I don't know what's going on, dude. I, I can't invite uh, you. You can't invite me. I'm Hold on, I'm fine. I'm trying to find your name right now. Okay. So would have known the streaming yeah so the streaming world right now what made you decide all right yo i really gotta i know you you didn't start streaming till after you won your belt really going heavily correct yeah so what made you decide all right yo i don't want to waste this opportunity i'm really ready to take my game to the next level you know and i believe you're streaming i know it's so many negatives for a pro player competitive player to stream what made you decide you know what i gotta let them hang i gotta drop the kahunas and win this thing i gotta also fight and build a brand what made you say i can't hide my game anymore so for me it was uh i don't know just like thinking about it a lot you know for one i could i could stream a money game at any time but you know to be professional with it, this, that, and the third, yeah, I really have respect for those like big time streamers. But, you know, I don't know. It's just like, I was like regretting it a lot, man. I was thinking to myself, you know, why have I not already jumped on this opportunity? For my gamer tag is PAV, P-A-V, you know, 530 uh, mm. space. But you could look up my name and whatever it may be. PAV and then 530. But like I was saying, just a, a little bit of regret. That's the only thing that was happening for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, do you kind of feel like, you know, you, you you never, it's so hard to win tournaments, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you've had great yeah. success. Going going to the finals, you know what I'm saying? Winning a club, I mean, winning a championship, you know, it's so hard to win those belts. People think it's easy, but it's definitely not. You feel like, hey, I got to start building this brand because you never know when my window could close? No, 100% a fact. And, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty remarkable, honestly, like, to play and do, you know, still be able to make runs, it gave me all the confidence. So 
you know a lot of people mm -hmm. have this you know little uh thing saying you know well if you should there's a tournament this and a third but honestly you could do it like it's a mental thing a mindset thing and you know for example like i remember uh i, I think madden 17 or 18 skimbo and kid mm -hmm. played and there was skimbo was was for the culture he went live we all had to see this hell game uh mm -hmm. and what he had did was he just threw up a ps4 stream and then i think he got unlucky in that game and i think like because of that because he streamed he kind of like yeah i'm never streaming again type of thing mm -hmm. and then i don't know yeah. i feel like that's a thing a lot of people deal with i sent the invite let me know if you got it and i don't know I, so I sent since i made the finals I of sent... that tournament oh. did you get mine I'm, I'm looking at the thing that's not the tag it's my it's pav pav and space then 530 oh man <laughs> just check real quick if you got it i think this this should be it this should be it It, it ain't it ain't uh it ain't doing nothing dude what is going on boys uh, ha. what's I, up man i don't know here i think i got it now i think I got it this is it this is it you should be able to join that one now what are you doing to make <laughs> i'm saying what are you doing <laughs> i mean i'm just going into to go an extra second into the thing and then should be able to uh, i don't know you're it might be something glitched out with your account the signing glitch that might be yeah. another thing but you could try sending the invite too you know what i'm talking about with okay. the sign in yeah yeah because i am on uh you're right let's see hold on let me see let me see something you might be right ah Oh, it's just Pav. Yeah, it's Pav. P A V then space and factor. Yeah. You know what? Let me uh, let me quit the game. Just. I'll do it, that. Let too me give it a refresh. Let me give it a refresh. Let me give it a refresh. Good old refresh, which should always work, honestly. <laughs> give it a good refresh. Give it a good refresh. Man, this is this is the ugly side of things, boys. This happens to all of us. It happens well, to all you know of us. they got we got the golden ticket going on right now. Have you picked your have you pulled your uh, golden ticket yet? No. So everyone's but I'm thinking that the right servers this, are gonna I'm crash. On that. Yeah. Everyone's thinking that the servers are gonna crash anyway, cause I already pulled mine. I didn't get them. You know, everyone's hopping on right now trying to get the golden tickets. I'm really surprised that the servers are even up right now. But hey. Cause you know everyone goes crazy for these golden tickets. They flood it. All right, let me see. Yeah, that's a valid point. Really valid point. I never even thought about that. When was the last time like we had an all-out server crash? Hey, hey, hey! I ain't gonna lie to you. You might want to go ahead and sign in and get your golden tickets now, cause it's from seven to nine. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that so right you gotta, now you, as we speak. Just click, just click ultimate team, and so you can at least get your packs. You can open them later. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to miss your your packs and you'd be like man you just stroke me bro <laughs> you feel me nah definitely i'm actually opening it up as we speak i'm 100 and i'm not getting anything so it's worth a shot you they gave you three thousand yeah three thousand you ain't getting that oh man nope you feel me sports king oh, i don't want pop and saying yo I, I stroked them yo what is the scene see where all my friends is Oh, this is uh. Let's see. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, chat. Did you get that invite? Yeah, I did. Let's see if it let me join. There we go. I'm in. That's what it may have been. Ooh. The account thing. Oh man. Okay. Let's so play, man. Going, Let's uh, just play. Let's just play now. Let's go. Whatever. Anything. Lambo tailgate. Lambo tailgate. Good Let's old Lambo it, tailgate. Yeah, Lambo tailgate, man. You can run the quarterback. You can run right. the quarterback. So look, this weekend. I mean, you doing everything. You are doing everything. You were in the booth with Nick Mazesco this weekend. 
commentating the LCQ with the mud head. Pavin, talk to me, man. How was that experience? Man, it's it's just another opportunity. And, uh, you know, I get to scout game plan. You know, I get to see a little bit of what people are doing. So, you know, that helps me in that favor. You know, obviously get paid on the side. That's always cool. But, you know, Nick makes it job so easy. He's he's one of the he's one of the best commentators I've no what no matter what sports Madden absolutely UK whatever it is he's one of the best I've ever seen so there's that I'm probably just gonna pick holiday why not absolutely I and mean yeah how, like I said LCQ didn't... is so sweaty so sweaty I, I had to I had to hop into the booth and watch and just pick up on what people are doing did you enjoy it like commentating how, how was that like you feel like that's something you want to do you know Maybe on the side, like if you didn't win, hey, you would commentate, you know, or you want to go full time. Is that something you you could see yourself going down that road? Hundred percent. So you know, I actually had a couple co commentating opportunities to this point. My first one, th this is tragic, man. We all have these tra tragic stories. So um, I think this was Madden twenty clubs time. You know how they did individual clubs. Um, so, you know, they do like, oh, AFC South one day or one weekend, then they uh, two weeks later, one week later, AFC North. They had me do this. So I played first. AFC West, if you guys can tell by now, that AFC West clubs, it's always first. It's always first. So mm -hmm. I got that done out the way. And then they were like, oh, would you like to hop in the booth? You know, we, you live like two hours away from Redwood City, the studio. And then from there, I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? I get to see some of these Madden homies. Um, you know, the studio is always dope. I have some family in the Bay. And, you know, I just got to, you know, sometimes it's cool to leave the hometown. So we did, we did that. The thing was, I really had no commentating experience to this point. So I was a rookie dang near and just hopping out there. Uh, no experience. And it was it was uh, it wasn't pretty, man. It wasn't pretty. I was struggling a little bit up there. Um, and, you know, I had some cool calls here and there, but for the most part, I really just, I didn't know what I was doing up there. So uh, that definitely yeah. helped me quite a bit. And, you know, here we are today. I feel like I'm pretty decent on the call, man. Yeah, it is great. And uh, bless one in the chat. He's saying you did a great job last weekend. And I'm glad you brought that up that you said, hey, you know, my first experience, it wasn't a good one. But then I was able to rebound and come back. And I feel like I did a way better job this time and that's something that people got to understand that you might not know exactly how to do something you haven't went to school for it and you learn from experience you didn't just put you know drop your head and say oh man i'm cheeks i ain't never doing it again ggs in the chat when you got a chance <laughs> to go back out there you went back at it again and you did you know 10 times better and, and that's and, and those are the things that i admire about you being at a young age having that that moxie to be able to, oh my goodness, good, good cut up. To be able good to, rats, you know, bounce back, bounce back and say, hey, let me not be afraid because I messed up the first time. Let me try to do this thing again. And this time you got people in the chat saying, hey, Pavin killed it last weekend with Nick in the LCQ. Nah, for sure. I feel like just whatever it is, you got to have that mindset. Like, you're never going to be able to do something, you know, perfect the first time. Perfect is a word that, no, it, this you can't even describe perfect. Honestly, it's like there's you don't see perfect on a day to day basis. Whatever it is, pro athletes, mm -hmm. um, you know, engineers, whatever it may be, there's no thing as perfection in a lot of these things. But come on, ah, I had no chance because took off. Yeah. But yeah, you always just gotta go at it again, go at it again, go at it again, and then maybe after five, six, seven, eight times. Uh, maybe they might not be for you. I mean, you'll never know. You'll never know. It be the best. <laughs> yeah. It just takes time. These dudes are having all day, man. Honestly. They really are. We'll let them have this first drive. Feel out drive. That's how I always kind of feel about it. There's a couple things I got in all mind right. for the next couple of drives on defense. Never know. They might throw us a book. Oh, that's not me. I should have stayed there. I should have stayed there, man. I should have stayed there. Good dots. Good dots. Yeah, my guy in the chat wants to know. I can't even. Uh, he said he wants to know, are you going to be t participating in the fall level next championship? 
Uh, I would have to see like if there's any restrictions or anything around that. Um, is that like a college thing only? Because I never really got my head around that. But no, if I'm able to, oh, then go. I'll definitely be in it. Get blocked. Get blocked. Yo, she cut it out, man. Cut it out. Tell my pop and carry we'll coming me. out Listen. in. Uh, absolutely. You want to run around? Let's see what you got. Let's see what we. Oh, the classic on, man glitch. Are... We doing that or what? Oh yeah. Oh my God, they wow, screamed I can't at you. It. Who's that? Eric Kendricks. Nice. Yeah, definitely did scream. You know. Me. So speaking of level next in the college and all that, what what is the situation? You know, with you in college, what's your idea in in your views about you know college and gaming? Because uh, obviously, I, I like know a... you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I feel like a lot of like young players are just that's the gaming scene right now, like college students and all that. So I really do love what Level Next is doing, and trust me, if they have more opportunities like that in the future. I will definitely be in them because you know it kind of hurts. It kind of hurts seeing these guys, you know, balling out, and you know, obviously I could sign up and all that, but kind of hurts seeing them, and you're kind of just left out. So trust me, if they continue to do these Level Next in the future, I will definitely. Sign up and be involved with that. User, I'm gonna throw it to you right here. That's you. No, you sir. Bro, I was wide open. You could have been dotted that to me. Okay, I was I'm, just, I'm just trying to get the double pass points. You know how it be. The double pass points is the move for yard. I'm sorry, I played hey, the uh, yard invitational. That's kind of stamped in my brain. Run around, I got you. I'm gonna see you. They were coming after me. We're just gonna score. Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. and we let it go. We recovered it, we recovered it, we recovered it. Oh, I'll man. give you the ball. I'll give you so, the ball. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Get in here. All right. It's all good. Just get in here. Hey, uh, so have you ever decided like, hey, man, I, I am going to, what was your thought about going to college? Or you like, nah, college just ain't for me. So, um, I've started off like playing Madden, then, uh, like a high school and then that literally senior year. Next semester, I'm at Yuba College, uh, community college, I should say, because obviously you don't know mm -hmm. what that is, but that's where I'm at right yeah. now. I still plan to go for right now. Like I actually took really sound advice from one of my professors and it's pretty mm -hmm. cool. My prof even my professor, uh, he kind of figured out like, there's a couple of people in the chat and the, in the class talking about like how I play Madden and kind of pro at it. So my professor, uh, he kind of like told me that, oh, he used to play tennis not somewhere at a like professional level he said you could always go back to school um and go do that again and he told me straight up because i was like i was i was having a little trouble in the class because like i was i love i love madden man i was spending all my time on madden studying the game uh, when in reality obviously you should be studying whatever your study material is in class and all that but he told me man you could always go back um you know and do yeah. that but like, and, i feel like i could do that, both things but especially with the youtube and all that it's going to be definitely difficult to do school youtube content and be yeah. a pro at the same time because yeah and i feel like what you just said is a gym because you know somebody being wise enough to tell you say hey man you can always go back to school but you might not always have these opportunities on the game good pick yeah you want me to pitch it back to you i'm pitching it back Oh, they gave me the spin out of it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So uh, that's 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 a great gym. Letting them know, hey, man, like some people have job opportunities and it's like, hey, you know, if you're working a job and you got a dream that you want to pursue, go ahead and try to try to pursue that dream because you can always. I see I see that's a it. dot. Let's go. And that's just a route runner. Crispy. 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 <laughs> you know, uh, you can always go back and go back to school and, and go back to doing whatever your job is, but you might not have the same opportunity to, to pursue the dream or passion that you're doing right now. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you had people in your life to share that knowledge with you, you know, and, and yeah. now you got people in your life like uh, Sahil, you know, oh, Sahil, that. how does, how major does, what? parts does Sahil play in your life? Like, what all does Sahil do? We see him every time you make these these live events. We always see him with the camera. You know, you're doing major things. He always, You're always getting sh shouting him out on your interviews when you do stuff with the Las Vegas Raiders. Like, what all does Sahil do for you? 
he does a lot for me man so at first like the story was we kind of met in this uh, college class that we we're taking that's mine and you know we had one class before this and uh, before this certain class where we you know started to hit and bond and stuff like just you know have these awesome ideas about whatever it may be um but we didn't really talk too much at that time and then slowly but surely like uh, you know i only had like a couple friends in the class and he was one of them so you know, i knew him from the class prior that i took and you know he's in my class again and you know just started kicking it kicking it with him quite a bit and then from there you know he played games himself quite a little bit and he was just telling me about all his experiences uh hmm. this that and a third about you know his ideas and like i feel like it's always nice to have another set of eyes that sees the world differently than you and like you know he's definitely a creator creative vision um and you know like i like i'm a pro i definitely have some creative ideas but you know for the most part like he brings up ideas and you know i never thought of before and you know i feel like you always need that set of eyes to be there and then and just another uh example is you know at the time i had not been working out probably like you know uh, one and a half years ago and he's like he kind of introduced me into this health and well-being type of area that i definitely was missing out in my life and you know we all know like as madden players you definitely like it, it gets tough man especially just you know gaming and sitting on the uh console a lot of the time so you know he kind of brought up this health and well-being mindset and you know ever since then i've been working out and that's just something small but you know that and, definitely and helped me out a lot and that's and that's major that you bring that up how do, you know that's one of the things i've always struggled with since i got out of high school since I got out of high school and college playing ball, when I actually started to play Madden, because you're always locked in on the game, trying to compete, trying to be competitive, and you always, to keep that balance. How hard is it to keep that balance mentally, knowing that you feel like, I should be on the game right now, but I'm doing this, or I'm, I'm making YouTube videos, um, you know, going to the gym. How hard is it to keep that balance? And, and when you don't get the job done, how does that, you know, I mean, yeah, you had a great one going to the clubs, but how would you have feel taking, still doing all that stuff, and if you may not have made it to the finals? Um, that's definitely a good thing to bring up. Uh, just a lot of assessment. You just got to kind of sit down, whether you have a day or two, whether it be a week, two weeks. People assess things differently. I think I'm just going to keep, oh, I'll get down and cook. Uh, you gotta just kind of have to sit down and assess the situation. Don't let it linger on or, you know, fester, I guess some people say too. Um, and just think about it. Like, honestly, you just have to think, manifest, whatever it may be. Think about, okay, what I could have done better, what, you know, I should have done, how much more time I should have put, or, you know, did I put it the right amount of time? So say like, if I didn't make the finals, I think I still would have been fine with the results because at the end of the day, it's always going to come down to those, you know, 30 minutes where you play on the game. And, you know, those decisions right there, you know, what happens, whatever happens there. So, you know, if I, if I would have made like, a good run, I would have been all right. Do you feel like you could have been better at the game if you had not been trying to build your brand the way you've been working so hard at it? No, I don't think so at all. Because um, what I like to do, uh, I don't know if this is going to be the move for, for like going forward and all that, but at least for now, and these tournaments, what I definitely like to do is like, you know, two to three weeks before this big tournament, I will definitely like, I'll still kind of upload here and there, but for the most part, I just kind of go LeBron James mode, uh, zero dark 30. I just kind of lay off the medias. Um, and I, you know, Sahel knows this too. I'll lay off the YouTube or whatever it is. And I'll just sit on the game hours, hours, hours and get the best reps possible. Watch the best reps possible. And yeah, so for, for two weeks prior to the uh, tournament, that's what I'm doing. I feel like I'll always have the best reps and always have the most uh, repetition. So it really only takes you just locking in two weeks before a tournament and you feel like, bam, already, that's all I need to be be able to compete with the best. Is that because of the skill gap or are you just that good? No, I wouldn't say that. So that, uh, it kind of seems out of context, but if I know what I'm running, if I've already been running it for, you know, a solid month or two, then yeah, the two weeks I'll sit home and I'll be good. But you know, there's gonna be an issue if I don't know what I'm running, if I don't know, uh, you know, what's it called? Like, like how to run this or like, I don't have, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I don't know if I wanna run this office. If it ever comes down to it, you know, two to three weeks before the tournament, I feel like it's gonna be kind of 
you know, it's not going to be a successful tournament for whoever that person may be. Because we always hear it, right? Like we're always talking to our boys and like, I don't know if I want to run this or that. Hesitation and like not knowing. Oh my God, I almost got out of there. Not knowing what you want to do is definitely like, it's almost rare to be like, oh yeah, I was running this last week and now I'm running this and now I'm winning. So I don't know. I feel like uh, for the most part, do that late. The most part, you got to know what you're running, be familiar, be comfortable with it, and then you'll be straight. Like, you know, you can run the weirdest scheme ever, but if you know the ins and outs and if you're familiar with this and that, then you'll be all right, for sure. Uh, Sahil, like, what what all does he do for you exactly? Does he put up your YouTube videos, your, your, your Twitter content? What, what does he do? So, it's a lot like a Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. I'm um, obviously with like brand storm ideas he does all the recording uh kind of we've been thinking about like you know trying to get an editor for now lay off a little bit you know off his back he'll help him a lot that's probably the next mm -hmm. move that we got but for the most part it's yeah recording of the videos oh my goodness <laughs> uh it's the recording it's the publishing and then it's a whole lot of un behind the scenes that, that you know hopefully one day he'll be able to show you guys i know he does have his you know, y'all go check him out. It's Sawhill Goes Hard. He posts a lot of behind the scenes of the behind the scenes, which is pretty glitchy to say the least. Uh, he did not throw that. I oh, me to get a stop out here and get some interceptions, man. You, you've been shining too much out here. You feel me? People, people saying you, you carry me out here on the field, you know? Oh, we, oh, you I got cut right well, there. Dalvin just got burnt. I covered three beater. I've never seen that, honestly, in the yard for squads. Yard, yard, yard. I don't know why I said squads. I'm already thinking about the bull. I mean, what's you your know, thoughts you've on won. the squads? I know you play quite a bit of squads with W, oh. Greeny, Clef, Books. I love, you know, I love squads, man. I, I love the aspect yeah. of bringing in other people. It's fun. I mean, it's always fun when you bring in other people. I'm not saying yeah. I love the head to head matchup and all that, but why can't you have this too? You know? Why yeah. does it have to be why does some people always feel like you just have to keep something a certain way? Why don't we have, you know, this is my this is my opinion. What's wrong? Nobody says nothing when they're wrestling when they have a, a tag team championship, right? Tag team champion, you got a tag team belt. Nah, for sure. So I understand that. What's 100%. wrong with adding that? What's wrong with adding that aspect to Madden? You know what I'm saying? Still having, you know, the regular four, four tournaments, the classic, the club, the challenge in Madden Bowl. But then I also have something where we have squads and you give out belts and they're the number one tag team. You know what I'm saying? I feel like... Nah, 100% agree. Uh, but I understand how and some people are upset about, you know, just being called the Madden Bowl in the format. But if it, if it wasn't called the Madden Bowl, how would you feel? about the format for the man bowl this year um it'd be definitely different for sure like i feel like they gotta give that proper title nice i nice go man one great user the name says go, it all man. but uh <laughs> but uh what's it called i don't know it's like nick mazeska said a good point he said if there's a year to, you know switch it up do something different why not be this mm -hmm. year where obviously we all know the covid and everything going on um, no, I agree with that point a lot. Like, I don't know if they are going to switch it up, have it be this year rather than, you know, when we're in person and person squads might go crazy. Like, dudes are just going to be yelling at each other. Oh, <laughs> you, already know. you already know Why it's going to go crazy. To there? Yeah, no, for yeah. sure. I've seen it firsthand. Especially the way Kib and Wesley was going at it. Uh, oh, when my they God. Had you know yards. exactly I was thinking that right now. I was exactly. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. No, you said it. I let you say it. I let you say it. <laughs> hey, they your crewmates. They ain't eight one eight. Them your boys. They're my crewmates. <laughs> That's oh, what I man. can say. You're right. No, you're right. Nah, That's what I can say, man. I, I, I rocks with Kiv and West, man. Both of those guys are great, man. You know, definitely Kiv, man. I rocks with him, man. Nah, that's fast, man. So, you should, you should, you should just be there sometime. This, it's just some funny times. Oh, I, I know the Discord go crazy. The Discord go yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm referring to. The Discord goes crazy. And so, you've won the club, the Raiders Club champion, four times. 
four times in a row you've done the, the radios and all that type of stuff. How do you feel that relationship that you developed with the Raiders? I mean, just basically, were you a fan of the Raiders? And you know, how big is it to actually be in those moments to where you're doing radio shows and interviews with the Las Vegas Raiders? Raiders. I mean, to be honest, for me looking out, that's major, Pavin. That's major. I mean, if the Panthers called me up to do an interview, <laughs> yes. You would say, yes, it doesn't matter what they say. Yes, 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 I'm there. You feel me? <laughs> how do you, I mean, yeah. if, how does that feel? Oh, man, it feels awesome, man. Um, so I am a lifelong Raiders fan ever since uh, I was born. My pops was a Raiders fan, so I passed down from that. But um, obviously, it's the Las Vegas Raiders now, which is a little, you know, different, a little weird, but it's still the same love. But basically going to what you were saying, it's crazy, man. And, you know, we missed a couple opportunities because of COVID. We were like supposed to be out there when they, you know, dropped this, uh, when they opened up the new stadium. And I think they had like oh. some type of Twitch lounge and some some dope stuff, man. And like, I was like, obviously the perfect candidate for that. So we were going to be there. Uh, definitely would have been all documented and all that as in videoed and all that. But, you know, COVID hit. Yeah. So, you know, they kind of had to like slow that down obviously the if you if the raiders the vegas raiders don't have fans at the stadiums and that's just how you know how crucial it was so i understood like what was going down and you know at that time i'm like okay i just gotta be patient and see what comes yeah. and you know hopefully this year i'm able to catch some games and maybe chop it up with some of the higher uppers over there and see what's to come because uh Drini with complexity is you know that's that's a like that's big time jealousy, but uh, uh, not jealousy, but you know what I mean? It's like, wow, like, yeah, yeah. that's inspirational, man. Yeah. You're my, you know, it you're is. a rival player, competitor, but you know, I'm very happy for you. And I hope it happens to me with the Raiders, something like that, you know? So that's whenever I see Drainy with complexion, so, I'm like, yeah, just clapping and, it up. And, and, you that's know, all I can really and you know, what's, what's so crazy about, you know, Drainy complexity is, you know, like you, if people don't know complexity actually is partnership with the Dallas Cowboys so they have like their own area and stuff in the stadium and all that type of stuff they're actually partnership with the Cowboys sort of like uh I think PK Deliverance the Knights aren't they partnership with yeah. the Steelers are, to some are extent, you a part of I would any say. yeah are you are you a part of any esport org or something like that as of this moment the only thing I'm like affiliated with is like NACL which is uh they're like a a little crew organization i know the owner david chen he's a very cool guy and uh i'm an ambassador grand ambassador for them so you know i kind of rep them kind of uh give them shout outs definitely want to do more work you know promote them but it's really nothing to the extent uh at least yet to like you know uh complexity type five so yeah so basically you still shopping around no <laughs> If somebody come and ho tried to holler at you and say, "Hey, man, we want to want you to join somebody like, uh, you know, Phase Hundred Hundred Thieves, somebody like that," I mean, hey, you you, if the deal's right, Papa might be on the table. Hundred percent, man, and then definitely that's been another thing I've wanted for a minute now. Um, you know, I'm still young on the scene, twenty. At, at the end of the day, eventually, at one point or another, definitely want to be with a team, man. It'd be amazing, man. It'd be like a lifelong dream, true. What do you think is gonna take your brand Pavin to the next to the next step? Where you want it to where you see? What do you think is gonna take it? Do you feel like, hey man, winning the belt is gonna take me to another step, or being consistent and keep putting out more Definitely content consistency, is gonna take man. me to the next step? So for you know, me, uh, as of lately. Saho came up with this great idea that uh, we should, wow, this dude got glitchy with the stick. We should up our game as in, you know, content con uh, production. So uh, I'm trying mm -hmm. to get like a studio in here. Um, obviously not like one of those wow. big like music studios, but something yeah. where, you know, I could do like a podcast every other week or every week, mm -hmm. nice microphones, nice camera system. And obviously the camera for my stream, um, I just got a new camera. Uh, no more webcam. You know, webcam's cool and all, but I feel like, you know, I got to invest a little bit into myself to, to make upgrade. it look professional. Correct. Yeah, time to upgrade, 100%. And, and that involves, you know, fixing up the room a little bit and, you know, having some nice, you know, stuff on the walls, soundproof walls, 
a nice mic system and a whole bunch of things that you know for sure will be documented and videoed so that's on the way and yeah being consistent man i if you could get to a point where you know you're just super consistent with your uploads figuring out what your guys like to like or like to watch your viewers subscribers all that good stuff and then that way you know you definitely could multiply or you know double up your subs viewers and everything like that so that's definitely the goal just to be more consistent with that i feel like you know we're almost there just gotta be more consistent with it and i know that too so you know i'm not gonna just cry oh i only got this many views on this video oh this only happened here mm. i know like you know if it didn't work it didn't work and you know oh this video popped off let me replicate it and you know get to work yeah i mean i love your mindset the way you're talking is like you know i'm not really focused on yes i'm still playing competitive I know I can win and compete, but me streaming and me doing content is not holding me back. And at the end of the day, if I put a video out and it doesn't pop and I don't get the views that I was wanting, at the end of the day, you know, keep coming right back at it. You know, I cannot sit there and hold my head at it because you never know what's, what video, what content is going to be the one that takes me to the next level. 100%. Like, everyone has that startup, but it just, you know, how hard do you go? You keep going at it, so... For me, I'm, I'm, I'm up to like six and a half thousand subs on YouTube, which is pretty insane. Uh, you know, I obviously have my goals and all that, but, you know, to see that steady growth, you know, growth is growth, no matter if it's slow or not. So that's really what I care about. If we're growing, then, you know, that's an amazing thing for me. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if y'all, what is your YouTube? Shout it out for the people so they can give you a follow. So if you just type in Pavin Lakai, P-A-V-A-N, then you could just space it out. L-A-K-H-A-T. You can find my YouTube, find my Twitch. Everything, all my socials are the same. It's P-A-V-A-N, L-A-K-H-A-T. I see you. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I passed it like that. I honestly don't know. Yo, I, I, I glitched him right there. Did you see that? <laughs> nah, Yo. yeah, that's that man glitch, man. So... I mean, this Yard would have been a lot of that if they had it on there, which I feel like Yard is so fun. They could have made it where it's, you know, Yard for the Madden Bowl instead of squads. I mean, these guys just had insane play. But, you know, squads yeah. would be different, man. I haven't played any squads at all. I know you guys do, like, pass-only squads, which is, it looks fun, man. So I don't know what your rules and regulations are for that. Um, I just have to tune in next time you do that. But for the most yeah, part, the pass man, only squads going to be crazy. a lot of running. They're going to do a lot of running in this Squads tournament, man. Yeah, they the squads and regular squads. It is gonna be a lot of running. It's gonna be a lot of bubble gum. You're oh. Gonna see a lot of quarterback draws. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, if y'all want to win for the cash, hundred fifty thousand. No, no, no. You know it. You gotta lock in. And, you, you, yeah. You. I know it. I know it. Oh my god. A lot of bubble gum like this, or me. what? It's going to be worse than this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. QB draws, all that stuff. I need stuff. the cheesiest players with me, bro. Give me that. Nice. Oh. Did we get that? Nah. We didn't get that. Sidelines have been broken right, so I'm for not a minute, gonna, man. I'm not going to rush them this time. Yeah, don't rush them. Good call. Good call. They, they've been rolling out a lot, honestly. They've just been rolling out. Yes, sir. So good I think that guy's still saying either way, but I mean, they're chilling. Yeah. Cheese him. Go back if you can. Ah, he's there watching it, but I mean, you can still route him up. Yeah, throw it back. Oh, I want to throw this. Hey, this is too windy, low key. Who is that, Jair? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm about, I'm about to rhyme. I'm about, I'm about to do what I just did. So get ready to hit the all streak, right. all right? Left or right? I had that one. Wow, Jair. I know I had you low key. Well, I'll try it again. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. It's man, guys. You could just push it out every time running this play, going back and then going forth. All right, I'm just going to throw it up. No, I'm blind. MVS, wow. I think I had the oh, right man. side that time. Here we go, 
I couldn't fry him though. That's terrible. My mad cat could not get open. You have a fast cat, huh? Yeah, yeah, I got fast cat. He just could not get open. It'd be like that sometimes. It's I so know. Hey. Go ahead. You know, I'm gonna ask you the same question I asked J Wall. In the Madden Bowl, who are you picking? You got number one pick. Are you going with your boys or are you going with, you know, somebody like, you know, Clef or, you know, Bose? Like, who would you pick? So for me, he's not in yet. I think he's going to be in. High key, he's been playing some good ball. And that's Henry, man. If Henry's on the board, I'm picking him. His Madden brain is insane. Like he just, he's the highest, one of the highest IQ thinkers in the Madden game. Um, any mode, any mode. And I feel like that's just something crucial to have. He obviously has good stick work and all that. And feel it, bro, that's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. Every time, gotta go with Henry. Just gotta throw something. Oh yeah, glitch him, man. <laughs> Let's go, man. Got to go with your crew. I feel you, blessed one. You think That's anyone will same go thing, out of crew? A little controversy or what? I, I'm not sure. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's a fun event. You, you pretty much assume everyone's going to try to throw a beamer. You just pretty much assume that everyone's going to try to go out there and have fun. But it, can you have fun with 150000 up? No. No is the answer to that, man. Whenever there's money on the line, that's a good first place. I, okay, so here's the story for that user. So I'm over yeah. here like, oh my God, this is different. Oh my God, I was a draft. Oh my God, mutt squad. So I'm not I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at the time. And then, you know, slowly but surely, okay, you could draft your friend. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I'm probably gonna have a top two pick since I was in clubs. I don't know how that's gonna go, by the way, but I, that's what I'm thinking at the time. And then they mm -hmm. change the next slide. I see 50 big ones. I'm like, yep, let's, let's do this. Let's do this right now. Let's do this right <laughs> here, right now, man. Let's do this, uh, man. I don't have enough complaining for me. That's all, I, that's all I had to see. And you know how major is it that, you know, if you do pick your boys, all three of you, your whole team eats. Your whole team eats. It's not like, hey, man, I got to break them off with something. And, you know, because, you know, when you win, your boys always feel like, man, I helped you out. You know, and some people say, you're going to send your homie a flat screen or something, all those Discord sessions. But this time, your boy is going to be able to get 50,000 too. So I think this is going to be, it's going to be major, you know. Man, if, if, if man. I get my boys, we're going vacation somewhere. That's all I got to say. I feel you, man. I appreciate you coming through, Pop, and dropping all these jewels on you, man. Continue to push, continue to build your brand. You and Sahil, man, you know, keep doing great things in the community. Man, I hope to see you be more successful than you've ever been. Any last words for you, Depart, my guy? And take care to everyone watching and just be, uh, be your best person you could be. Get 1% better every day. That's really all I got to say. Appreciate y'all watching, though. I appreciate it, Pop, and catch you later. All right, chat. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed that with Pop. And